Battlefront 2 just got over 60 new characters, all with unique abilities, animations, weapons and particle effects. Brand new heroes and villains from both Legends and Canon made their way into Battlefront 2 through this brilliant expansion mod. Battlefront Expanded is currently the largest and best mod overhaul for the game, bringing custom abilities, fan favorite characters and new mechanics. There is so much new stuff in this pack that you will spend days to discover everything and today I will show you how to easily install it, handle modding issues and make Battlefront 2 feel like the Battlefront 3 we never got. Greetings ladies and troopers, there are some of you who haven't modded Battlefront 2 yet, so I will start from scratch and show you the entire process. Also if you are curious to see all of the 60 plus brand new characters, you can go ahead and check out this video. In case you have modded Battlefront 2 before and you just wanna know how to play Battlefront Expanded via the Frosty Mod Manager, you can skip the first 2 minutes and 53 seconds. For starters, if you haven't modded Battlefront 2 before, I will let you know that sometimes it can be a bit painful, but I'm here to make sure everything runs smoothly. The first thing you wanna do is head to the first link in the description and download the Frosty Mod Manager from this page. Make sure it's this exact link in the GitHub and then download the archive files. In case you do not have WinRAR or 7-Zip, hit the second link and download one of them for free in order to be able to extract archived files. Next you wanna make a folder anywhere you wish and drag the files from the archive into your folder. In case you have Battlefront 2 working through the Epic Games launcher, you might also need to download the Frosty Fix found in the third link in the description. Again, download the file and preferably paste it in the mod manager folder and we'll come back to this a bit later. If you have the game on Steam or the EA app, it should be perfectly fine, you do not need the Frosty Fix. Next, head over to the mod manager, right click and head over here to properties and then to compatibility and make sure that run as administrator is ticked, you would always want to run this as an administrator. Then make sure to hit apply and ok. This is very important, so make sure you go through this step. Then go ahead and double click your mod manager and wait a while until it loads everything up. Usually when you open Frosty it will ask you to scan for games. You can do that by hitting scan for games here in the bottom left corner. Otherwise if it doesn't find Battlefront 2 you can click the new button on the right side and search for the directory where your Battlefront 2 game is saved. After the game is found you can double click on Battlefront 2 and it will take a while to load in. Now in order to download Battlefront Expanded you need to head over to Nexus mods, search for Battlefront Expanded or the fourth link in the description. If you don't have a Nexus account, just use your email to make one, it's completely free and it doesn't take long. Next after hitting the fourth link in the description, we go here where it says files and scroll all the way down to unhandled exception error fix press manual download, then down here on slow download. Just so it seems simpler, we will go back to the Frostymon manager folder, paste the error fix archive here and extract or drag the file out from the folder. Hit replace and it will automatically replace the faulty file. Now you can delete the archive file, we do not need this anymore. Next you wanna go back to Nexus and search for better init fs or simply click the fifth link in the description. Repeat the process, go down to file, manual download and slow download. And once it's done we can go back to our mod manager folder and drag the initfs file into the plugins folder. Make sure it is dragged into the plugins folder and nowhere else otherwise this is not gonna work. Now very importantly make sure you have restarted your mod manager otherwise the changes won't count. Finally we can now download the last two pieces of the puzzle. First we go back to the same nexus link and download the file at the top named Battlefront Expanded Instant Action. This might take a while depending on your internet. The last mod we need in order for this to work properly is this selection screen mod found in the 6th link in the description. Just repeat the same process as previously, manual download, slow download and place it in a folder wherever you like. Perfect, now that we have all the files that we need, we can move on by opening the frosty mod manager. After this is done we can easily go up here where this plus icon is, Press it in order to create a new mod collection and name it as you want, but very importantly make sure there are no spaces between the words, so we'll name it BF Expanded Install. Next we have to add our mods, we can do that by simply pressing up here on add mods and search for our Battlefront Expanded Instant Action file. 
click on the archive file and hit open. You will see that the mods have now popped up on the left side down here and what we want to do next is press here on apply mods. Just hang tight troopers, we are almost done. The next step is to also apply the selection screen mod by going again to add modes and then apply modes. A very crucial thing to keep in mind is that you need to make sure the selection mode is always under the main expanded mode. In case it isn't you can simply select the selection mode and press this arrow here like so. Brilliant, there is just one step left, for that you will need to hit launch up here and then wait for the manager to load all the mod files. Once the game launches you have to close it and go back to your mod manager. Go up here in the top left corner and press tools, then better init fs, make sure everything is ticked and press save. If better init fs doesn't appear here, please make sure you have dragged it into the plugins folder inside the mod manager directory. Now if you are running the game with epic games, it is essential you also use the frosty fix after this step. Make sure you run the frosty fix as an admin. Once it opens, make sure Battlefront 2 is the selected game on the left, then your collection name should also be selected here on the right side and lastly check global. Now hit enable modes globally and let it do its thing. Again if you have the game on EA app or Steam you do not need to do this. Finally we can now hit launch in the frosty mod manager and all should work well, the game will open after a while and all of the mods will be there. Remember you can only play this in offline game modes for now, most recommended one is instant action. Please do keep in mind that the Nexus Battlefront expanded file is the fifth version of the expansion. In order to try the testing version 6, you need to head over to the expanded discord pinned in the first comment and head over to the test builds tab. You download the file, after that you simply remove version 5 and replace it with version 6 and also make sure the screen selection mod is under version 6. If you experience further issues you can contact the expanded team. If you wanna run instant action overhaul or other mods alongside expanded please make sure to write down your questions in the expanded discord also linked down in the description. Anyway if you manage to follow all the steps accordingly the game should run perfectly for you. If you are still having issues please check the steps again, write me down in the comments or contact the expanded team in the help thread in their discord. If this has been helpful to you troopers make sure to force push those sub and like buttons. Make sure to also check the Battlefront expanded showcase where you can find gameplay for each of the 60 characters. Future content will focus on more Battlefront 2 modes, we are also planning galactic contention videos soon and more on the saga's updates. That being said, good luck troopers, have a fantastic day, happy holidays and may the force be with you, always.